guys, welcome to The Ticker, where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. Recently, a couple of agencies got together and they did a survey, they released a study on millennials, and it's called the American Millennial. And basically what it helps you know, companies figure out how to do is how to understand this demographic. As real estate agents, as mortgage lenders, we really are struggling to kind of understand this new demographic and the best way to be able to market to them and understand that there are, you know, next customers. Up and coming home buyers. Exactly. So we wanted to kind of give you some of the highlights that this study mentions. And of course, we'll link up the study down below so you can continue to look at it and, you know, pull out anything that will help you in your business. The first one is millennials are mobile. And we've talked about it multiple times. And we have this discussion with people face to face every single day. Mobile, mobile, mobile. The more mobile it is, the more likely somebody's going to use it. It's interesting enough that every time an app comes out, everybody's concerned as far as what different devices it is capable of being downloaded on, how they can use it. And nowadays, everybody does everything from mm -hmm. their smartphone. So if they can't get in touch with you and you're not mobily up to speed with them, there's going to be a disconnect between you and the average millennial. Next up is going to be affirmation. Now, my wife and I, we read a lovely little book a couple years ago called The Five Love Languages. And one of those is words of affirmation. I myself, a millennial, and someone who is very much understanding of the words of affirmation, kind of really get this idea. It's Maya Angelou. She said that people are often going to forget what you do. They'll forget what you say, but they're never going to forget the way you make them feel. So the way that you really get to a millennial is with these words of affirmation. And it's through social networks. Everyone talks about page rank and getting into Facebook and talking to people a lot. So they see your updates a lot. But guys, look, it's more than that. Become human, start to care, and affirm them when they talk about you or things that are going on in their lives, and it'll be reciprocated. And you know, for me, being a millennial and really understanding this, I can speak from experience. This is something that we tend to, uh, you know, you know, we, we got trophies for third place and fourth place and last place and things like that. We love those words of affirmation. Next up is going to be they care about causes. Mm -hmm. We've talked a lot about how proud we are to be involved in an industry that really gets involved when disaster is struck or there's children in need, whatever the cause may be. It's been so awesome to be able to get involved and help with these networks and really, you know, kind of put the muscle behind it. Get out there, do things that are going to help. Millennials are going to appreciate that. So make sure you're posting all that stuff on your Facebook fan page or your Facebook, tweeting about it. So you want to make sure that if there are any really good causes in your area that make sense for your business to really brand your particular business with a cause, Get involved, do it. They'll be impressed and they'll be more likely to step up and get into a business transaction with somebody who fights for causes. Absolutely. And it's not about being boastful. It's just about no. understanding the industry and the things that we do. No. We love that kind of stuff and it's really important to be involved being anyway. Being proud. And they love that. So that's a great opportunity for you. The last one is going to be the fact that millennials, they're stylish. <laughs> I mean, come on. Seriously. Look. No, for real though. They are stylish. <laughs> love it. And the way that we really wanted to talk about this is, is something we touched base on just yesterday. They love design. They understand design, in my opinion, better than a lot of other generations and a lot of other age groups do. They understand that design is more than just the way something looks. Like we said, it's the way that something feels. It's the way that it works, right? So make sure that with things like your website, your mobile apps, your process in general, make sure they're designed in a way that can be appreciated and that millennials will really get and understand. Anyway, guys, if this is your first time here, be sure to comment down below if you have any questions or more tips on ways to get out there with millennials. And as always, you can subscribe for free over on the site. And you can always check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and even hang out with us on Google+. Bye, Bye guys. guys. So today, we talk Ready? about millennials. I think that's our issue. That's your issue. Mine? No, both of us. Where were you born? Um, in the 70s. Oh. Mother.